Welcome back to the John Mandola Show, 1023 here at WILK. Join us every single day online, thejohnmandolashow.com. Subscribe to us on YouTube. It is the John Mandola Show. Follow us on Twitter. We have a game this afternoon on our sister station. It is Wyoming area and Scranton Prep. That is a 1.30 start. I'll have the call this afternoon on Max 102. Well, let's get over to our Riverside Vikings football team. Head coach Harry Armstrong in studio along with a bunch of players uh, this morning. Coach, welcome into the show. Good morning, John. Thanks for having us. Yeah, congratulations. A couple weeks uh, of football. Uh, take us through camp uh, for Riverside. I know uh, we had talked uh, towards the end of summer. You're pretty pleased with where you're at, but uh, take us through what, what double sessions were like, your scrimmage, and then the first two weeks of the season. Well, uh, starting off with camp, I mean, it's it's been a grind for us, but we're having a lot of fun while we're doing it. Our guys are working their tail offs, but we, we definitely have a bunch of clowns on the team, and we're cracking each other up and having a lot of fun in the locker room and, and in between all the hard work. So it's it's been a great experience so far, and our guys are playing loose and, and really enjoying their time. And uh, as far as uh, results, uh, victories feel pretty darn good. Um, you guys scrimmage Valley View, right? Yes, we did. We scrimmage Valley View, and that was a great test for us. I mean, without a doubt, they're a powerhouse program. And, uh, you know, I thought we really did a good job holding our own, and, and it was a great chance for us to evaluate to see what some of our strengths and weaknesses are. And then uh, two wins for you guys, including last night against Carbondale area. So a lot of offense. A lot of offense, but it's also been set up by some very good special teams and defense. We've been very fortunate to have some phenomenal field position, turning the football over on defense and special teams to give us those those chances to put up some points. And uh, right now we're clicking, we're finding our rhythm, and, and we're spreading the ball around and, and lighting it up. Different coaches, different philosophies. Some coaches are like, "Hey, we're gonna we're gonna try to balance it 50-50. Hey, we're gonna make it 75-25." Uh, for you guys. Uh, very efficient through the air last night. Very efficient. We're about 75-25 uh, pass to run right now, and um, but it, but it's going for us. So so why not keep on rolling with it? And it's sometimes a lot easier to go around a defense and over a defense than through a defense. So if that's there for us, we'll keep on doing it. Talking about uh, when you have that offensive production through the air, you've got to have multiple weapons. They'll key in on a guy or two, especially at the high school level. Uh, they just keep throwing to that kid who's 6'5", and he's just going to go up and catch it, but you have various weapons. That It really is an advantage for us, and if, and if a defense wants to take away one thing or two things, we have a third option in the play, and a lot of our plays, we have run-pass options where our quarterback, John Gilchrist, does a good job with the decision-making. We you know, we can be handed off to the running back. He can be pulling it on his own and running it or throwing it to two, three, or four of our receivers that are running different option routes. So it's, it's a challenging thing to, to slow down. And as long as we're in the right place and in the right spot, our guys, once they have the ball in their hands, they're making plays then, too. Anthony Lima is the first guy we're going to talk to this morning. Coach, we have numerous guys we'll get to. But tell us a little about, from your perspective, uh, what Anthony Lima brings to the football field. Well, to the football field, he brings a lot of confidence, energy, and aggression for us right now. He's a three-year starter for us on both sides. A captain. Uh, he's not just an, an emotional leader from a verbal standpoint, but he really plays his tail off and works extremely hard. And, and our guys are following his lead in that regard. And I thought last night was one of the best jobs I've seen a player do in a long time, especially in that regards. And, you know, when you're clicking like that from a mental standpoint, it's going to show with how you produce physically, and, and he's getting the job done for us. All right, very good. Let's welcome in Anthony Lima here on the John Mandola Show. Uh, Anthony, let's talk about that. That leadership role for you, is it something you feel like comes naturally for you? Um, I, Yeah, I would say so. I mean, the team welcomed me with all open arms, so it was kind of easy to step in and fill that position. I mean, <clears throat> they listen, they follow, but without them, we wouldn't be able to do anything. A few years under your belt as a starter has to feel pretty good. Uh, do you feel like you've gained in the confidence area every year? Okay, hey, I've done this before. I'm getting a little better. This is what Coach told me I have to work on. Oh, absolutely. Year by year, you get better and better. It's all about the time and work you put in. I mean, you progress as you get older as well, so it's, it's kind of special to see how you start from your sophomore year to now your senior year. Let's talk about position-wise. Where are you playing on both offense and defensive sides? Um, right now I'm playing center, but I also play tackle. I play D-tackle, DN, whatever they need me, I'll play it. How is this offensive line gelling right now? Take us through the guys up front. Who's uh, who's around you there on the offensive line for the Vikings? Um, our left guard is uh, Justin Tig. Left tackle is Timmy. Our right guard is Angel, and our right tackle is C uh, CJ. As far as what you like about your line, right now you feel like you know good feet, um, driving guys off the ball, good pass blocking. What are some things that you're seeing so far early in the season? Well, in the beginning, uh, during doubles, we we struggled at first, but then we progressed so much during doubles and to our scrimmage, and now it's week two, and I think I feel like things are really clicking for us. I mean, we're giving Johnny time to throw. We're creating lanes for the ball to be run, so it's kind of special to see it. 
Coach Armstrong, he could be a fun guy. He could have a lot of fun. He's a young, enthusiastic guy, but uh, he's going to make you punch the clock, and, and you're going to work as hard as you've ever worked. Talk about the finding a little bit more about yourself with your work ethic over the years. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Coach Armstrong does a great job to rally all of us to really push us to the limits. I mean, there's always more left in the gas tank, but we're really trying to get it all out there all the time, give it 100 all the time. All right, Anthony, we'll continue success out there on the field, okay? Thank you. Anthony Lima from Riverside here on the John Mandola Show. As we talk about the Vikings football program, we're going to move along. Uh, Coach Armstrong, Ryan Simeon is with us. Uh, tell us a little bit about Ryan's talents. Well, Ryan's uh, he's, he's our kicker first and foremost, but he's very multi-talented. Uh, he's a lot more than that for us in, in our special teams. Uh, he does a great job manipulating the football. He's... He's a wizard with our onside kicks. He can really put the ball where we need it to be. Uh, we recovered a couple against Susquehanna last year. I think we recovered six or seven on the season, and we're going to continue to put pressure on teams in that regards. And with punting the football, he can he can place the ball where we need it to go. He's got a big leg too. He can kick it deep when we want to try to pin him back. And he's also playing some in the secondary for us right now. He blocked a punt on pump block, so he's doing a lot more than just using his foot. He's definitely playing some football for us, and even through practice, uh, he, he does a lot of different things for us and, and to give us a good look. And uh, he's also one of our newest captains on the team, too, and he's definitely earned that. All right, let's welcome in Ryan Simeon here on the John Mandola Show. Ryan, a, a specialist is your title. Uh, not many guys could... You know, do an onside kick, go block a punt, uh, play in the secondary. There's a lot of talents that you have. Talk about uh, just trying to get new things going there at Riverside. Um, I mean, I think uh, this, I mean football's played three parts. You got your offense, your defense, your special teams. Uh, I, to me, they're all equally important. And when we have a special teams like this, create turnovers. Uh, be magical to watch. You hear about basketball players, you know, they're, they're shooting, you know, a couple hundred shots a day, uh, jump shots. When you're, when you're a kicker, you know, there's probably only so much in your leg. So, you know, you have a number that you throw in your head of, okay, I got to get this amount, try to kick it towards the end zone, or I got to try, you know, 20 onside kicks. Do you have some numbers in your, in your brain? Um, I mean, it just, I, I, it depends how I feel that day. Uh, if my leg's feeling stronger, I'll kick more. If I'm feeling a little hurt, I'll... I'll cut back, and I mean, it's more of just getting those good quality reps. Being a captain now uh, with this team, talk about leadership-wise, uh, and again, as you said, that special teams component is so important. You feel like maybe there's a little bit more respect uh, for you when you're when you're telling the guys what you're doing special teams-wise? Um, I mean, I think the guys always have respect. We respect everybody. Uh, it's a big family. Um, I'm, I'm honored to be a captain this year. Uh, I mean... It's not just me out there on the special teams, though. You gotta look at the guys that are getting the onside kicks, blocking for me, snapping the ball. So it, it's not just the kicking aspect of the special teams. Let's talk about the long snapper, the holder on the special teams. Uh, my long hold, or my long snapper for uh, punt is uh, Johnny Greenfield. My short snapper for extra points, Anthony Lima, and my holder is Alex Jaworski. All right, all those guys need some kudos. Ryan, keep it going, okay? Yep. All right, Ryan, Ryan Simeon there from Riverside as we talk about his role special teams-wise and then what he's doing there uh, for the Vikings. He's also playing some defense. All right, Coach, uh, let's get to this next guy. This could be a little longer conversation. Um, Johnny Gilchrist uh, is with us. Talk a little bit about uh, his attributes as a quarterback. I know going back when he was first starting, you're like, hey, this kid is a, a 4-0 kind of guy, uh, very cerebral, and that's going to help a lot in the position he's going to play. Yeah, John, you absolutely brought up a couple points, and, and I think some of the qualities that he inherently has uh, fit in perfect for what we're doing on offense and how he plays the position of quarterback. And there's certainly a lot on his table, and he's handling it with tremendous poise and confidence. But to have that confidence, and it's for all of our guys, it's about the preparation and time that they put in. I, I could say with, without a shred of doubt that he's one of the hardest working players that I've ever been around at any level, and it's showing it uh, from start to finish. To start off a season with 12 touchdown passes and zero interceptions in just two games, um, almost 900 yards, or 800, whatever. But uh, it, it's 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 not an accident. Uh, we're making plays that seem extraordinary, that are ordinary to us because we've been making these throws and these catches and working on our pass protection and route running relentlessly. So when we go out there and do it on a Friday night, we're just put on a show, and he's having some fun doing it, and he's super smart, uh, very calm in the pocket, and. You know, some of those things you can't teach your coach, and you just have some of those attributes. Uh, so it's, it's a lot of fun coaching him, and it's a lot of fun just being a part of the whole process with him. Let's welcome in Johnny Gilchrist here on the John Mandola Show. Uh, Johnny, a year under your belt. feel a little, little more confident now. Um, what's it been like for you to 
to uh, get under center or, or for that matter, get back and, and catch the ball in the gun. Uh, what's it like right now? Uh, it's definitely a lot better year two. Um, you know, I'm just really confident back there. Uh, you know, and it starts with, you know, just being confident with the players around me. Uh, a lot of our receivers are coming back from last year and they're all playmakers and, you know, I really trust all of them and they're all putting in the work. And then offensive line, we had to replace four starters last year and Anthony Lee was coming back and we really, that that group is just really coming together. Um, you know, our tackles, guards, I mean, every, everyone's just buying in and, and doing what they need to do and, and, you know, I'm really proud of them. Receivers in all different shapes and sizes you have there at Riverside. So take us through some of the guys you have and, you know, whether somebody's a great route runner, somebody could go catch anything or, you know, these guys are just solid uh, playmakers. Uh, take us through some of the guys making plays there at Riverside. Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll start with Rosin Reyes. Uh, a big night last night, five touchdowns. Uh, you know, he's a guy that, you know, had a great season last year, really built on it all off season, And, uh you know, he's just he's just a natural athlete. Like, I mean, catch anything and you know make plays. And I don't know, he's just really confident out there. Um, and we have uh, Diego Rojas also coming back from last year. Had a great night on defense last night. Um, he's a great route, great route runner. Uh, you know, has a real really good feel for for uh, feeling the zone out and just you know make making plays when he needs to. And great blocker on the outside as well. Uh, then Christian Pond, you know, made the move from running back to receiver, and he's handled it really well. His great hands, great instincts out there. He's really smart, and uh, you know, I'm proud of, proud of all of them. And then Jake Jake Kohler, also was coming back from last year. Uh, again, great hands, great instincts out there, and you know, was really a team player. So, I mean, top to bottom, it was just uh, I, you can't you, you can't stop them. I mean. You got a lot going yeah. for you there, man, and uh, I'm sure it feels good for you. You got that uh, family support as well. Talk about your your close knit family, everybody uh, cheering you on and, and making sure they do what they do for you. I know uh, the Gilchrist family is really into the Vikings. Yep, they they're Vikes definitely uh, big big huge fans, and I couldn't be more grateful to have them. Uh, they're at every game supporting all week. You know, just I don't know, just doing whatever they can. I mean, like. They, they have so much support for the program and for me, and I couldn't be more grateful to have them. Well, Johnny, keep up the great work. Always great to catch up with you. Thank you. All right, Johnny Gilchrist, the quarterback for the Riverside Vikings. Still more guys to get to over on the Vikings, and uh, we'll get to them here. And we'll, we'll try to catch Mark Watson from Wallen Popak towards the end of the show as we talk Riverside football here on the John Mandola Show. You can pick up a copy of our football magazine. want to thank our friends at Beston's Auto Body, the Cody Barace Foundation, uh, for Scranton Prep and all the auto sales, the Carbondale YMCA, AJ's Bar in Carbondale, Dr. Todd Pacheski, located in 44 Tommy's Pizza, located in Kingston, Jack Crossan Real Estate, uh, Bud Bustin's Pizza Heaven, Andy Paraginos, located over there in Luzerne, Keeley's Pub, uh, located there on kind of the border between uh, like Court Dale and Kingston, uh, and then our friends at uh, the Overbrook Restaurant, located in the Back Mountain, and Melissa Walter. Uh, State Farm located there in Shavertown. Well, we come back here on the John Mandola Show. We will talk more Riverside Vikings football. Let's head out now to our local State Farm insurance agent, Jeremy Pachinski. Break like a good neighbor. Jeremy Pachinski in drums is there. We'll be back in WILK.